What do K9 police dogs do? Human law enforcement officers need to be a special type of person, and police dogs must be a special type of dog. These impressive animals come from generations of dogs specifically bred to perform the complicated tasks that police dogs are required to accomplish. Generally speaking, this isn't something all dogs are able to do, and that's why we usually see just a few specific breeds being trained as police dogs. Popular Police Dog Breeds Belgian Malinois The smart, confident, and versatile Belgian Malinois is a world-class worker who forges an unbreakable bond with his human partner. To deny a mal activity and the pleasure of your company is to deprive him of his very reasons for being. Belgian Malinois are squarely built, proud, and alert herders standing 22 to 26 inches. Strong and well-muscled, but more elegant than bulky, there's an honest, no-frills look about them, as befit dogs built to work hard for their feed. A breed hallmark is the proud carriage of the head. Coat colors range from a rich fawn to mahogany. The black ears and mask accentuate bright, questioning eyes the color of dark Belgian chocolate. German Shepherd Dogs The German Shepherd Dog is one of America's most popular dog breeds for good reasons. They are intelligent and capable working dogs. Their devotion and courage are unmatched. And they are amazingly versatile. The breed also goes by the name Alsatian. Despite their purebred status, you may find German Shepherds in shelters and breed-specific rescues. Bloodhounds Find missing or hidden people Off-duty bloodhound dog is among the most humble citizens of the kingdom, but he is ruthless and stubborn on the rise. Bloodhounds are large, substantial dogs standing 23 to 27 inches at the shoulder and weighing up to 110 pounds. Their most famous features are a long, wrinkled face with loose skin, huge, drooping ears, and warm, deep-set eyes that complete an expression of solemn dignity. Coat colors can be black and tan, liver and tan, or red. Powerful legs allow bloodhounds to scent over miles of punishing terrain. As pack dogs, Bloodhounds enjoy company, including other dogs and kids. They are easygoing, but their nose can sometimes lead them into trouble. A strong leash and long walks in places where they can enjoy sniffing around are recommended. Bloodhounds are droolers, and obedience training these sensitive sleuths can be a challenge.
Dutch Shepherds. The Dutch Shepherd is a lively, athletic, alert, and intelligent breed, and has retained its herding instinct for which it was originally developed. Having an independent nature, it can be slightly obstinate and have a mind of its own. Since its original duties were to keep flocks of sheep in a particular location, it is able to run all day, and that is reflected in its physique and structure. The Dutch Shepherd was discovered as a naturally occurring shepherd's dog living in rural areas. It was developed as an all-purpose farm dog, working originally as a farm guard, drover, and livestock dog. A well-known dog fancier wrote about the Dutch Shepherd in 1910, bearing a great resemblance to the wolf. Of course, this is not entirely true, but it is another aspect that shows that the Dutch Shepherd still has many of the characteristics of its wild forebears. Although it is not a widely known breed, the Dutch Shepherd is a loyal companion and competent working dog used for obedience, dog sports, herding, tracking, search and rescue, and as a police dog. So, that, that they, they all got dropped, but, but my favorite two, this one and this one. Huh? Honestly, and this one might even be better. Labrador Retrievers. The sweet-faced, beloved Labrador Retriever is the most popular breed of dog in America. Labs are friendly, outgoing, and superior companions who are affectionate enough for a family looking for a medium-sized dog. Strong, well-balanced Labrador Ret River, depending on gender, can weigh 21.5 to 24.5 inches on the shoulders and 55 to 80 pounds. The thick, dark coat comes with a yellow, black and delicious chocolate bar. The head is wide, the eyes shining with grace, and the thick, short otter tail seems to forever signal the innate interest in breeding. These breeds are known for their incredible working ability, their desire to cooperate with their handlers, and in some cases, their tenacity in fighting criminals. Some police dogs are single purpose, meaning they have one task they perform. Others are dual purpose, meaning they are trained to perform a variety of tasks. But what exactly do police dogs do? Apprehension Perhaps the most popular discipline of the police dog is suspect apprehension. Police dogs are trained to bite dangerous suspects and hold them hostage. In many situations, they are the first ones to put their lives on the line and go in against an armed suspect to protect their human partners. Most apprehension dogs are herding breeds, such as the Belgian Malinois, German Shepherd Dogs, and Dutch Shepherds. For hundreds of years, herding breeds have been bred to have the physical strength and intelligence needed to work with their owners to herd livestock qualities they also need to restrain a dangerous person. That said, they must be stable dogs, with the ability to know when someone is a threat and to act solely on the command of their handlers. Detection It's no secret that dogs have an amazing sense of smell. Dogs have 225 million scent receptors in their noses, and we use their ability to theirs to our advantage when fighting crime.
When it comes to criminal activity, dogs are often taught to detect various drugs, explosives, accelerants, and other crime scene evidence. The dogs are able to perform their tasks anywhere and are most commonly searching airports and border entries for explosives and illegal drugs, large events for explosives, and even civilian vehicles that have been pulled over. Military dogs are also trained to detect landmines in order to protect the handlers and personnel from danger. Search and rescue. A large part of police work is searching for lost victims, whether it's someone who has been kidnapped or a missing person who has gotten lost. In the case of search and rescue, dogs can be trained to find living victims and the remains of deceased humans. They are able to search through rubble after a devastating explosion, earthquake, or other disasters. They are able to cover miles and miles of the forest looking for a lost hiker, or someone buried after an avalanche, and can even locate the bodies of drowned victims underwater in oceans and lakes. The ability of dogs to cover large areas in a relatively short period of time provides a great resource when looking for victims. Although human searches play an important role that can't be replaced, search and rescue dogs are able to get the job done with unique precision. Just to stop.